This is a video lesson on solving rational expression equations. So this is an example of one. And this looks a lot like an addition or subtraction problem, except that it has this equal sign and something on the other side. And ultimately, an equation wants us to find the value or values of x that will make the two sides of the equal, that the sides of the equal sign equal to each other, two sides of the equation equivalent. So here, the first thing I would have to do, just like an addition or subtraction, is to factor everything. If you want to give that a try, you can pause now. I'm going to put up the factored version. Here it is. And I have to list the restricted values that come from all of the denominators. Here they are. From here, x can't be negative 3, it can't be negative 5, can't be negative 2. Then these ones are repeated. I already got them. Now, ultimately, I would like to have the same denominator everywhere. And if you take a look, certain factors, x plus 3, appears in more than one place. So does x plus 5. So does x plus 2. So really, of all of the denominators, each one is only missing one factor. This one is missing x plus 2. I'll have to multiply by x plus 2 over x plus 2. This one I'll have to multiply by x plus 3 over x plus 3. And this one, x plus 5 over x plus 5. That's the one factor that's missing from each one. I've got to multiply the top and the bottom, numerator and denominator, so that it remains equal. And just like with addition and subtraction, I want to keep the denominator as a product of three factors in this case, but it could be two or four. And I want to expand the numerator. So I want to do x plus 2 times 5, multiply it out. 9 times x plus 3, multiply it out. And 4 times x plus 5, multiply it out. If you want to pause and give that a try, go for it. I'm going to show the answer. This is what I get. And ultimately what we want is to be able to solve this equation. If we have the same denominator, we can completely ignore it. If it's true that this plus this is equal to this, the numerator plus numerator must equal the other numerator. So now that we have the same denominator, we can ignore it and just solve the numerators. That's what I've got here. I put brackets around this just as a reminder that if we were subtracting, the minus sign would distribute to all the terms inside. And now to solve this equation, this is just a regular equation. I've got to group all the like terms together, bring all the x's to one side and the constants to the other, and divide. And as long as this is not one of our restricted values, remember our restricted values were negative 5, negative 3, and negative 2, then this is the value of x that would make both sides of this original equation equal. If you want to plug them in and try, you can. Uh, but that is how this topic works.